Sound City Radio, what's up ABJ, yo with EDK, we have a special guest, a very talented young singer mm-hmm. and big time fashionista, also a stylist, she's all around 360 in this entertainment <laughs> business, welcome Waye, hey. how are you doing girl? I'm awesome, I'm awesome, I'm actually excited to be here. Now let's put it in context, you're Loki and ABJ girl. No, not Loki, I'm an ABJ girl, <laughs> they carry me to Lagos to suffer, I mean, I'm an ABJ girl, please, thank you. Oh, your family is here. My yeah. whole life. Life, my destiny, everybody's here. But you're not hanging out. You left us now. You're not. You're not a cool kid. When I have money, I'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> That's only fine. How you been though? I've been good. I've been good. I've been good. Yeah. Now you and I know each other before ABJ. Yes. Right. Um, mm. I've been playing your very early stuff. The the ones. <laughs> the, those ones. I, you're, you're part of those stuff. I'm uh, proud of it, uh, yeah, of, course, of course. I mean. Uh, but now you're on another level. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about your journey. <laughs> okay. Everyone who actually knows you on a personal level knows that you love being the center of attraction. That is your thing. No. You love to entertain. Yeah. When did you find out that this was your lane? Um, I think I owe it all to my secondary school. But when I was in secondary school, I did a whole lot, man. I was quite a mistress. I was, in, I was official in press club. I used to act. I used to sing. I was a dancer then. I learned a whole lot. I remember we used to dance Coruso dance, Calabar dance. <laughs> and Coruso dance, I only had like maybe a whole band, just one band in the whole of Kano. And that was who used to train us Whoa. in school. Like, I mean, like I hustled to be in that dance, like from GS1 to SS1. That's from SS2. Whoa. They allowed me in my SS3. I was not the dance leader, you know, you know. <laughs> so like everything, it was just such a great school to express. I think we even had more social activities more than we even had like school stuff but in the end they were still insulting you when you're always playing more than you're reading your books and all yeah. that but i think i learned a lot from my secondary school and i was able to it was just a place that really opened my eyes opened me to a whole lot so like i'm already somebody that once i want to do something i don't think where it's coming from how it's coming from i just start with what i have mm-hmm. improvise i will do it and do it till i actually get there to get to doing what I actually want to do. So I think like that was the biggest impact, you know. And as a kid, my mom, my sister, my mom is listening to Tupac, my mom is listening to T-Pain. Ah! I mean like, so like it was so, my other sister would make it, she would bring collection. Now it's always like giving her songs. Yeah. But then yeah. she make sure every song, I could rap every song, I could sing every song. We didn't have phones, my mom used to let us use our earpiece and listen to music <laughs> on our phone, you know. So like I think I was really just exposed to all of this when I was being brought up. I were allowed Nobody was telling to be a lawyer or a doctor or anything. That's dope. Anyways, when they were alive, me and they would not have thought that I would have been anything like that. Yeah. I can imagine. Yeah. So you decided you were going to sing? No, I thought I was going to rap and sing. But rapping then was sweeter, man. When you just go somewhere, you just be really girl rapping. Everybody just be like, wow, she's unique, she's different. And it's interesting because the rap thing is in your swag. It's, it's yeah, the way you dress. Has, now yeah. you're kind of like singing. I was looking at me like, I have to now say, I used to rap. Or, <laughs> now it makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think now I'm more confident with what I want to do. I've always been able to sing better than I rap. But mm. Rapping was just really easy, you know? So like, it's like, if I'm going to sing, I can't go into shows. I don't know how to perform singing yet. I don't have dancers. I don't know stage presence when it comes to singing, but rapping, I don't need to do too much. I yeah. just need to hold the mic and just try. Everybody will yeah. be shouting. Yeah. I like, yeah. forget my lyrics. You don't even care. <laughs> it's not like I've even stopped rapping completely. I'm, my, my, I have an EP that is done, and mm-hmm. I, I really, really like I still have rap in there yeah. and all that. Yeah. So I feel like I'm just a creative, but I don't want anybody to put me on that Nigeria FMC. That is a, such a limiting. They just know how to put you in a box and cover the box and padlock you with ten padlock. <laughs> but when they put you as an artist, maybe you sing and you yeah. also rap. Right. Rap, that's yeah. safer yeah, yeah. You, you brought up the point of being referred to as a femme C in, and nobody would be wrong there because you know for a certain channel you were with some other really dope femme C's, C's I mean and you held your own yeah. how was that experience um I think it was really nice you know I think it was it opened my eyes to a lot of things I think they found me I didn't even feel I was doing so much then and yeah. you know I got to know them and then this time Sasha did a femme C party I had to meet everybody. I met Sion at Flash's Femsy Party. She just called me. I gave your number to Muna. I hope that's okay. And I'm looking like, they're Whoa. asking me if that's okay. <laughs> The experience was just nice, meeting other people. I could see views. I could understand a whole lot better. Like, I could understand 
why they do certain things. I could understand why it happens like that. It was really dope. It was really eye opening. I learned a lot. All right. So in your early days, you used to release music, uh, but this is while you were in uni. Yes. And then some time passed, and you yeah. decided, okay, I'm going to dial down on the music for a bit. Yeah. And you're going into styling. Yeah. You have a whole styling platform. Mm-hmm. Tell us about Styled by Y. In fact, the way this thing started was so weird. When I was in school, everybody used to think I want great fashion thing. I just like to be comfortable. You yeah. know, like my friends used to tell me that, oh, this is your fashion thing. I think you should take it seriously. I think you should do this. I should, you, should th- you should do that. And I started with them. I started posting on IG and all that. So I met people who also tell me, I think you should make take this thing seriously. I mean, like when they told me to do these things, I wasn't even considering it like as something serious or anything. I just wanted to do it and as time was going and going and going remember I got my first job it was this girl that I've never met she introduced me to someone I remember I was in Benin the money wasn't even much but I was so excited that someone actually hired me to pay me money to do this yeah. styling thing yeah. I didn't tell them I was in Benin <laughs> so all the money they gave me I used to come to Lagos oh, do wow. the styling and go back just because I wanted to be like okay I earn money from this yeah. thing I started going to like online photography schools like you know free ones you know that would just email me once in a week yeah. hi Korean fashion color blocking color this color that so I used to have I used to do that even with photography too editing I had to I joined schools I just look for the freest of free the one that they don't even need to take my data yeah, yeah. you know I'll put them flag then when I have time I'll read them so I was doing that learning how to combine looks learning how to learn about people's body shapes and all that and then now people pay me like they actually pay me to do that I do people's pre-wedding shoots I do their birthday shoots I do a whole lot you know and that's, and that's dope and yeah. obviously you were, on, you were on that lane for a minute you yeah. clearly are doing pretty well thank you you. And you decided, guys, I need to get back to the studio. Now, interestingly, because we follow each other on social media, yeah. I used to see a lot of your studio sessions on, on Insta Story and on Snapchat. Yeah. And I used to say, this girl is putting in mad work. Oh, <laughs> I can't wait for the results of this. And sometime in August or late July, yeah. you sent me a rough version yeah. of the new song, Your Love. Yeah. And I remember it was right after I just finished the morning show. I got the email. I thought, oh, let me listen to this. this I haven't song. heard a new YA song in a while. And I checked it out and I thought, oh, wow, okay. <laughs> I think we have something here. I thought I was going to switch up on you guys. Like, <laughs> yeah, because I was like, hey. This is, I this tried is not to different. give in to the pressure though mm. because I wanted to drop my EP. I wanted to do this. I wanted to do that. And I just realized that if I'd actually done those things at the time I was going to do it, it wouldn't have been so good. I even have a lot of surprise. Everybody thinks that I'm doing something, but like I have a whole lot. I have a whole lot. I've been working like for like five months. I've been recording yeah. with a group of people. You know, I'm, I'm on a project with somebody. It's like a signed project. Who's basically. that? I'm not going to tell you. Male or female? Yeah. Rapper or singer? Director. Oh! Yeah. This is this is going to be huge. Yeah. So it's so visual. It's visual, you oh. know. So we just finished recording like um, four months. We've been recording for four months every day. Well, let's talk oh, about worry. the song, Your yeah. Love. Yeah. All right. Um, basically, a, a chick who is really into a guy. Yes, that's always. As always. Yeah. I mean, is that a personal story? Well, yeah, actually, it is actually. Like, it's not even like one person, two. It's just like a combination of you, these terrible men, you know. <laughs> how you guys stress us and make us just want to do everything for you. You know how men make girls feel like they're not doing enough? When you're actually, no, I don't know that, actually. I, you I don't, know. I don't, I don't, I don't yeah, do when Bopa Jacket, you're one of them. <laughs> you're one of them. You're one of them. It wasn't just me. I don't write based on just me. I write based on things. I've been close to a lot of girls, a lot of guys, so mm-hmm. I can express through music. So your love is like... Like a combination of different things and i wrote it with my friend sb now well, you must know sb i know sb i started with sb so like i remember i wanted to record it with the person that mixed and mastered it and he's like he sent me to sb to go and record the song and i went to ikorodu where we did the song and i was really really i was so excited like his mom was there all the yoruba where she wrote there she separated oh, it you wow. pronounce it like that you see how i was so perfect yeah. that, yes i own this thing she said me say teota if huh? i say teota no the author should we write to put dash dash yeah. dash i was not afraid to fail yeah so the song was really perfect because he knows me if you tell us to write a song for me about how i feel mm. when i'm sad or when i'm happy or he can write it like it's me I re- it really made me happy like this song is so happy your love and yeah. i feel like it does me you know a lot of people see me and think that maybe i'm some hardcore this thing but my friends know i'm just like in moi moi, you know? ah, so okay. like that's me and then even in my cover art i just yeah. did me you know yeah. i don't like to do sexy or anything yeah. sometimes i can't i just do it for the, like just let you know that okay i got it side of, mm, mm-hmm. yeah yeah, yeah. Like, I, i'm just happy that i didn't rush i didn't give in to pressure because now i'm doing i feel like i'm doing it right i feel like i'm finally ready for any you want to give me so what's next 
What's next? Okay, so I told you about the project. Yes, that I you wouldn't tell me. I've been working who? for five months. I've been working for five good months. When is it coming every out? Every day. Next year, because oh, okay. yeah, we ended up passing our schedule for dropping. So, anyways, but next year, but it's going to be really good. You know, we're coming in strong. I'm trying to do a video, though. So, the truth is, the song tells a really good story. Yes, so it does. For, for, for me, as a listener, I yeah. already have in, something in my in head. head. Okay, please right? tell me because right. I already have something in my head. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, basically, like I said, she's a chick who is completely drawn to a guy. Yeah, whom as usual. Has, <laughs> as you've mistakenly said, I'll forgive you, is you paint the guy as scum, yes. you know, which, which we are not. Scum, scum. All scum. Yes, you are yeah. all scum. But, I, but what I could tell immediately from listening to the song for the very first time was that you had fun recording the song. I was happy. So it was just good vibes. These are people that love me and people I love. And that's a good and thing. And that was a good thing, yeah. All right, so that EP that you've been talking about, is it ever going to drop? It is, actually. It's just that this project that is coming, it might clash. So I think I might just chill. Mm -hmm. So when that is done, then I, I you know, carry on with my EP. You know? Why, well, fantastic talking to you. Thank you very much for yeah, coming yeah. to Sound City like Radio. From here, but we, will, we will do the hugs <laughs> after, after the conversation. Yeah. I wish you the very best. Thank I, you I really so like much. your love. I think our listeners love it too. Yeah. So um, I hope to see a video eventually. Yeah, it's coming. Looking it's coming, forward to the project you have coming as well. Thank you. Waye, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you, EDK. All right, and that's a wrap.